Angel member already, good to see you here. Um, how's everything been? What brings you to Vegas? Very nice. I haven't been here since the last fight. Uh, so I'm excited. I have a few fighters fighting uh, tomorrow. I mean, Friday and then Saturday. I have one fighter on Saturday. Good. So it's good. It's good to be back home. Okay. You know, there's a good big fight coming up this weekend. I gotta get your thoughts. Canelo and um, big showdown here coming up. Who's gonna win this weekend? Canelo, Triple I've, G. I really think uh, if Canelo comes in good conditioning, which uh, which he should. He looks bulky. He looks bigger. Let's hope uh, he's able to maintain the pace for for 12 rounds. If he does that, I think he's he's gonna be able to win by points. Really? Yeah. You know, but then we have to also consider the fact that Triple G is coming out in great shape, and he's gonna come try to knock him out. So it's. He has to be very smart. I think Canelo has to do a perfect fight to win. Yes, your fighter, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., you have to prepare him for Canelo. Um, what was your thoughts on his fight with Canelo, how that played out? You know, it's, it, was, uh, it wasn't the outcome that you know all of us were expecting. There was a lot of issues happening that week. But uh, he's, you know, Jr. still got a lot of potential. It's up to him now to, to be able to maintain uh, his status. I think uh, 168 is good for him. In my opinion, he's uh, he's already a big guy. Even though he can still make weight at 160 if he wants, but it's too much killing him, you know. So I think 160 is good, and uh, he has good potential. Hopefully, he gets back in the ring soon, and hopefully, he uh, he comes back with a different mentality. I mean, he trained well in camp. Yeah, was it hard for you to see have such a good camp, but then see that what, in the ring it, it was, just he just it was, wasn't there. It was kind of sad for me though, because you know he trained hard though. I'm not gonna say he didn't. He trained great with uh, Nacho. He trained good with me. He gave us. 100%, to be frankly, he did good. I mean, yeah. the guy did good, he, he wanted this fight. So he was kind of uh, not disappointed because in a fight night, anything can happen. Maybe sometimes mentally you're not ready, but and, and there's a lot of issues that sooner or later we'll discuss that not now. But uh, but yeah, of course I felt a little bit uh, sad, not disappointed, but sad, you know. And But you know, you, go, you know, I mean, you, you might, just got to get back on it and, and fix little mistakes, and that's it. You might ship your camp to Miami, or is that true, or, you know? I don't know what is sure. he, I think he wants to do Miami and then L.A. He's, uh, he's already called Nacho, so, but as far as I know, there's nothing concrete on fights. Canelo Golovkin, what's been your opinion of Golovkin as a fighter? What do you see in him? Uh, on Golovkin? Yes. He's a disciplined guy, he trains hard, he's, uh, he's a good character kid, which means, uh, He's devoted to boxing, you know. So he wants to make an he wants to make an statement this weekend. So I'm sure he's gonna try to come and try to knock him out. I think uh, he knows that in order to win this fight, he needs to knock him out. He needs to knock Canelo out because uh, I guess the ads I don't know uh, were, uh, to make an statement. So I think he has a good chance. But then once again, Canelo is gonna come to fight too. So he's gonna come to IQ boxing. Right? Last, last thing. Um you, you fighter Juan Manuel Marquez, several years with him. What was it like? Just tell me your journey with him and seeing him retire from boxing. Well, Marquez, uh, you know, me and him, we still talk a lot. We have businesses together. And I, I was very happy. I was, I was blessed to be uh, in his camp. I was blessed to be part of his uh, most important fights. And the most important, you know, he, he allowed me to to input my knowledge, uh, different knowledge that he didn't know about. He didn't know about lifting weights or doing sprints and things like that. And he, he allowed me, he trusted me to do that. And of, of course, the, the results uh, speak for itself.